So have you ever been told that you need to turn your shoulders more during your golf swing? Well, that actually might not be quite correct. Keep watching and I'll show you just why. So most golfers set up over the golf ball, perfect lie, and just really, really struggle getting that good, solid contact with the golf ball. And I think most of us are aware that in the golf swing, we need to feel that the body's turning in order to get that club moving around our body. But when you just turn the shoulders, it can create some huge issues. Now, if you wanna hit a good golf shot, obviously in your backswing, the club is gonna move up so that it can move down, collect the ball, reach the lowest point of the swing, and then continue back round. And obviously you tilt forward, which should create up and down movement. But when I see most golfers that are working on turning their shoulders, the mistake they make is that from here, as they turn their shoulders, the shoulders turn level with the ground, which if I stood straight up, that's fine. But there shouldn't be just turn. Once you lean forward, there should also be tilt. Not just on the backswing, so left shoulder should go down, and then on the way down, right shoulder should go down and under. So, in my opinion, most golfers, yes, could turn a bit more, but predominantly could do with more tilt. Because when you've just got turn and everything flattens off, it's incredibly difficult to then swing and touch the ground. So if we can get the club moving more up and that shoulder, lead shoulder moving down, then we shift forward and the right shoulder goes down to create tilt. Now, if we're gonna be really technical about it, the way it's created is with something called side bend. So what we do is we, on the backswing, we Side bend left and turn. That gets the club moving up. So side bend left and turn. And then on the way down, we reverse that. So we side bend to the right and rotate. But I think, in my opinion, and I'll use me as a great example. If I start thinking about side bend, I do really, really struggle with that. So it's much easier to kind of think left shoulder down right shoulder down. Now, anyone that's watched my videos probably would say, look like you do that quite well in the backswing, maybe not as well as you could in the downswing. And I agree, so a stock shot for me, not really thinking about anything. It's a good strike. At the middle of the golf club, low point 2.6 inches ahead. Club's traveled down three degrees, and we see from the inside, so club path six from the inside, club face one and a half closed. And don't get me wrong, if they were like that all the time, might not be making this video to help you. But I definitely feel my bad ones are when I get the shoulder too high, I kind of pick the ball a bit clean and don't get my low point ahead. Now, I would probably say with a lot of golfers, it's maybe the other way that what they tend to do is the shoulders go this way and then they know they're gonna miss the ball. So they tend to go down that way. So depends which one you are, but for either of you, this feeling will really, really benefit your ball striking. So like I said, I feel pretty good left shoulder down, but I need to feel right shoulder underneath. So I'm gonna set up, tilt those shoulders. Now that felt much more exaggerated throw impact than normal. See, not a massive change on my club path, still from the inside. Club face was actually a little open there, even though that's turned over. But my low point moves further ahead, which definitely helps me feel that I can press the ball a little bit better. And I would definitely say when I first got Trackman three and a half years ago, almost never saw my low point that far forward. So this is definitely something I've been playing golf, let's say more years than I'm gonna let you guys know, but obviously very useful looking, it can't have been that long. But definitely something I've never done great. I think on the way back's been good, 
On the way down, I've never been as good with that as I wanted. So don't really need to think me backswing tilt. You might need to work on this two part. You might need to stand there and say, right, first of all, just work on backswing, tilt the shoulders, And it'll probably feel very different. The good news is if it feels different, you're doing something different. And as a result, you should see a difference in strike immediately. But I do think some golfers are very good on the way back, but then because they've not got a swing thought on the way down, they focus on the ball, try and hit it hard, lift it in the air, as I've discussed in other videos, but the golf ball becomes too much of an issue. Remember, that stationary, until that club hits the ball. So we want to set up, definitely for me backswing, not too much of a thought, definitely more tilt in my downswing. So take aim at target. God, that feels good. So again, there's my little draw pattern from the inside, low point ahead, club face slightly closed. And there's no big surprise that the more consistent you become with your delivery, strike starts becoming more consistent, shape of shot becomes more consistent. Now, maybe getting a bit ahead of ourselves here, but if you feel that, like me, you're somebody who draws the ball, and that, for me, feels like I should draw the ball more doing that. I don't, I just improve strike. But I might then just think, right, I'm going to have the club face a little open, a line a little bit further left, and just try and really feel again those shoulders much more tilted through impact and should take a bit of shape off the shot. So a little bit thin. Again, low point still lovely. Path a little bit straighter. Club face a little bit open. So not perfect and that's definitely one i find a little bit tougher but i'm able to kind of change shape of shot without feeling i change my swing just changing some some things that set up so let's go one more of those and i do love that feeling on the way through for me so when i get that tilt on the way through my club face is very very neutral when i feel my old pattern Shoulders are more level, much more hand rotation. That's where my big left comes in. Now, I said before, it's not necessarily all of you will do that, but if you can feel that the tilt's there, I do appreciate if you're somebody who goes, you will want to feel more range of motion as well. So you might say that's more turn, but we're just allowing the body to move around that tilt. So we're going to set up, take dead aim, tilt through the ball. That felt fantastic. So again, a little bit from the inside, low point not as good on that one, but I'd still take that as a golf shot. Good control, very consistent delivery. And if you really want to take that ball striking to the next level, you have to make sure that you get ball and then ground. Now, what you've got to remember is if you're turning, either going to be too high with the bottom of the swing, or actually the lowest point is going to be so deep into the ground, you're going to struggle with strike. So put more tilt into your backswing and downswing. Take your ball strike into a whole new level. And next time you get told you need to turn more, just say, 